just exercised three rights. You'll actually find that it comes true. Three rights, only three rights. Three rights, that's all. The first right that you will have to exercise because it will not come easily to you, it's called the right of speech. You know, most women are, uh, are accused of two things. One, you don't say what you want. Two, you say too much. In many cases, women don't get what they want in life, not because they don't exercise the right of speech. They actually don't get it because they exercise it a little too much. We all know the right of speech. But we very seldom know the right of speech. The right of speech and the right of speech are two very different things altogether. The right of speech would basically mean how do you really speak? That is, I think, very, very important. Most women, we are crazy, you know. We use this word, right of speech, we misuse it so often. You can't stop me. This is my right of speech. The human, the Indian constitution allows me to speak. How dare you stop me from speaking? Wala jo hai na, ek, ek, I said combative. Wala jo apna hota hai tevar. Ki jhada karna. Wala jo apna hota hai tevar. Ki jhada karke bona. Isko freedom of go. Freedom of speech is fighting and talking. To abhi, so many women, you know, especially the ones who are ambitious, who are very progressive, very future oriented, who have large dreams. They tend to pride themselves on one very important quality of forthrightness and transparency. Am I right? For I am very forthright. आंटी को मालूम ही नहीं है कि खुद का दिल साफ करके दूसरों का मूड खराब करती है। Toughness did not necessarily have to be tough language. So when we exercise the right of speech, we forget the right of speech, which automatically means that when we ask or when we tell things, we tell it in a manner which is not palatable, which is not digestible, which is not acceptable to people generally. We tend to use words, we, use, we tend to use sentences which are actually called aggressive. Time is not right, right? Where is the time? Mithas is right, right? For that, we need to weave a weave, we need to context, we need to weave a weave, we need to weave a mood. So when the mood is only not there, where will it come from? Then it comes from Bishum Bishum language. Only item numbers. Okay? In many cases, women do not achieve their dreams because they have forgotten how to ask it. They have forgotten the beauty of a word called assertiveness. Either they are aggressive or they are passive. Just like you have to give your brother something and you don't get it. Why did you give it to him? Why did you give it to him? Why did you give it to him? Where did you give it to him? Where did you give it to him? Where did you give it to him? Your brother went home, came back home at 11 o'clock, Papa said nothing, you came back at 8.30, you got a proper firing. So then at that moment, one, either you became passive, you became very quiet and you never voiced out an opinion again, or two, you said, I will be 21 years old. Then I will see you. So either you went to this side, or you went to that side, you don't know the road to the beach. So most women in India and the Asian countries only know two languages, passivity, aggression. They don't even know what is assertiveness. So in most cases, many of our dreams simply don't get fulfilled because we just don't know how to ask for it. We fight for it, we cry for it, we throw tantrum for it, but we don't know how to ask for it. Janu, I want a car. Agar kisi ne pooch liya, apne husband se. Both of us are earning enough now, I want a car. अरे यार कहाँ से आएगा कार? खर्चा कितना बढ़ गया? कार वार अभी नहीं। It's okay, I don't want कार दे। आपने कुत्ता ही आता है? या फिर तुम्हारी माँ आगे नहीं तो दोगे ना? मैं माँ भी तो नहीं दोगी तुझे। तुम पर क्या है? See ना, इधर या उधर, बीच का रास्ता ही नहीं बनोगे को। या फिर 
अच्छे वैसे माँ के ऊपर बहुत लोग पट्टी तौर फाड़ते हैं ना कुछ भी हो ना माँ तो जैसे कि खाना अच्छा नहीं बना रहे सुनो ना दाल में दाल क्या हुआ मतलब जल गया क्या क्या बोल रहे हो उतना ही प्रॉब्लम हो ना तब माँ के ऊपर खाके आओ जाओ अरे जान मैं तो बोल रहा था कि तो नहीं मिलेगा तो ऑलवेज क्या लाइक दैट टू मी हाउ मच यू वर्क हार्ड फॉर यू एंड ऑल दैट इट इज नॉट नाइस अरे अपने को पैसे आता है एड्रेस से आता है बीच का तो अपने को आता ही नहीं थ्री रूल्स ओनली वन यू नो व्हाट यू वांट सेकंड डोंट सैक्रिफाइस एनीथिंग थ्री नो हाउ टू आस्क द पर्सन इन अ मैनर वेयर ही और शी डज नॉट गेट हर्ट इफ यू रियली आर परस्यूइंग योर ड्रीम्स If you really want to achieve what you have written over there, in most cases, all it will take is asking, and the worst that can happen is a no. But if you don't ask, the worst that can happen is a definite no. A small example of where assertiveness for me, my personal life worked well. Right? The daughter's ten, so this is eleven years back. No, eleven twelve years back. I was expecting my kid. I was working very hard. I don't know how to work lesser than hard. I I don't I don't understand the concept of working for the sake of I don't understand it. So for me, it becomes very difficult to say. No, no, कर दो ना complete कर दो ना तो perfect नहीं होता तो मेरे को मेरे को चैन नहीं आता मेरे को. But I used to work with a boss who was very tough. He gave a shit if I was a woman or a man, and I love it that way. Yeah, he gives a shit. What the simple if he gave you work and if anyone even reminded him. लेकिन अरे बच्ची से एक्सपेक्टिंग ही मुझसे मैंने बोला था क्या पेगेंट होने को ना काम तो काम है बट यू नो व्हाट आई एंजॉयड इट आई एंजॉयड दैट ट्रीटमेंट बिकॉज़ आई फेल्ट दैट दैट वाज टू रिस्पेक्ट फॉर मी एंड माय कॉम्पिटेंस यू नो एंजॉयड इट दैट्स व्हाट इफ इफ द पर्सन अक्रॉस फॉरगेट्स दैट यू आर अ वुमन एंड ही कनेक्ट्स टू यू एट अ एट अ एट एन इक्वल लेवल आई थिंक दैट्स अ ट्रू कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू यू इजंट इट कि भूल गया कि औरत है करके तो आई वाज अबाउट दिस टाइम आई हैड आई वाज प्रेग्नेंट आई वाज इन अ वेरी बैड स्टेट I I had to walk without my shoes on because my feet were so swollen. कोई भी जूते में पहन नहीं जाता था. Now my husband used to call me up in the evening at about six thirty. Have you left? I was saying no, no, I'm just leaving. I have so much work to do. I'll leave in some time. And मुझे भाषण मिलता था. What the hell? Not taking care of yourself. It is happening. वो ये करके मुझे सुना. मैं बहुत देर तक सुनती थी. हम्म हाँ हम्म नहीं Utra, and the entire office is to wait for me to see what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. Minimum, day me two baato, five suka, che, sare chhe ko call ho gaya. Then I would say, okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave in just about ten minutes. Put the phone down. Currently working. Seven o'clock he'll call again. Pick up the phone. Have you left? I'm just leaving. What the hell? You don't take care of your health. Ra 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 ra. Yeah, I'm just leaving. Just leaving. Everybody's like waiting. Up, kya hoga? This was every day. We call about seven, then seven forty-five, then eight thirty, then nine fifty. I mean, there was a time when the phone would ring, and I was to get. I would say, phone उठाना पड़ेगा यार मेरे को. मतलब ऐसे भी बोलते हैं phone बज रहा है. ऐसे मैं ऐसे एक मैं ऐसे keep looking at the phone, you know, the phone बज रहा है. But the phone is ringing. I should say. Then I realized there was a nice trick. My husband was doing the. He was in the hotel industry. So he used to do second shift. Two times a week, uh, two times a month, but two weeks a month. Second shift, but he would start at about three in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, and he would come back home by one thirty in the night. Cool. So then he would call us. Have you left? Yes. <laughs> oh, where have you reached? No, just near the lift. Just reaching. Mm-hmm. After one hour, he called. Have you left? I have reached home. <laughs> After the office. Okay. So now that started. पहले वो फिर ये ये फिर बस तो चला मेरा दो तीन महीना हैव यू रीच यस व्हाट डू यू हैव फॉर डिनर आई वाज लाइक क्विक एट कुकिंग तो मेरे को टेंशन ही नहीं था घर पे जाके फटाफट खाना बना के रेडी बन के बैठ जाने का अरे यार आई बीन वेटिंग सिंस इवनिंग वेयर यू डार्लिंग वो बहुत ऐसा चला वो दिन तक चला फिर एक दिन वही हुआ वी कैन इमेजिन हैव यू रीच होम यस When did you reach home? Reached about an hour back. This was at nine in the night. I asked, "When did you reach home?" <laughs> <laughs> I am already home. <laughs> Omg! What the hell? I dropped the phone in my fear. Okay, and my colleagues are packing up very quickly. 
That day I went back home. I took the bus and I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I know how he will yell at me. I know how much I will listen to him. I'm so I'm sweating. My eyes are full of tears. And then in the bus I was going back home and the phone rang. It was, it, guess what, it was not my phone, it was someone else's phone which rang. It was the same ringtone as mine. And I did this. I mean, my hand didn't work, literally. And then I got out from the bus, I stood there and said, How many years have you been married? Ten. How many years have you been married? Seven. It's a good expectation. So now, it's difficult to die before that, because our DNA is very strong, everyone is 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 strong. I said, do I want to live the next 70 years shaking with fear because the phone rang? My answer to myself was, no, I don't want to be shaking with fear when the phone rings. I think it was a very important moment. I went back home that day. Well, it's been a long time. It has been followed me like anything. Right? Complete followed. And then, I told him something very important. I said, listen, you know what? You're right. I am working very hard. The thing is, I don't know how to work lesser than hard. I don't know how to do it. So if I pick up something, I have to do it well. I also take inspiration from you because you also work very hard. So I have learned it from you that things have to be done well. Um, and from henceforth, I will not pick up your phone. He went absolutely said, what? I said, I will not pick up your phone. You know, there was a time in my life when I used to wait for your phone call. I used to eagerly wait that you call karoge, I will talk to you. I was excitedly waiting for your call. Ke liye. Today, I don't feel like your call comes, I don't feel like your call. I don't feel like your call. I'm not liking that call. I will not pick up your call. Because after I pick up your call, there used to be a time I used to feel great about myself. Because I used to call it to ask, what did I eat? 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 There used to be a lot of care and concern in that call. And nowadays, it's only accusation. You may send me an SMS if you want. It is my choice to reply back to the SMS or not. I will choose whether I want to reply back. You cannot, don't compel me to reply back to your SMS. If you do send an SMS, do send it in terms of have you had your lunch, how are you feeling, take care, have a good day. I would like messages like that, but again, there is no compulsion. You can send whatever you want because I refuse to live the next 70 years of my life getting afraid of a phone call. This was a very important moment in my life and this happened 11 years back. Guess what? I didn't pick up the phone after that day. For many years. I think it's working out pretty well for me. One, I always get messages. How are you? Hope you've had lunch. Have you taken your medicine? Take care of your health. Have you taken the file with you for the doctor? What time is the doctor's appointment? Do you want me to buy vegetables in the evening for you on, your, on my way back? Do you want me to pick up the kid? How are you? Have a good day. That's all I get for the past now 10 years. And you know what? Life is absolutely beautiful. There is no pressure at all. I didn't even know the word assertiveness there. But I do know it is assertiveness now. Now I realize that was assertive. Being very clear about what one wants in life. Not very really emotional about it, but being very decisive there. Okay, not wanting to hurt anybody really, but honestly not wanting to hurt myself. It worked very well. So in many, most cases, you know, it's just about very unemotionally just telling what you want. That's all it takes. It's, but most women have this problem of not being clear about what they want in the first place. What do you really want? Do you want your husband to cook for you? Tell him, listen, I will not be cooking today. Please cook. Now he has the option of saying, damn, I don't know how to cook. Can you order food from outside instead? Absolutely your choice. In many cases, one, we think, usko bolna chahiye na. 
उसको समझना चाहिए ना so that expectation from both for parents and husbands and boyfriends and everybody who it gets too much it's too much of a load to carry so assertiveness is really about telling people unemotionally what you want that's all it is